Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruin. I run the place. Welcome back to One Shot. I, uh, I hope you're very excited. We are getting back into this game and having loads of fun. And, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be really neat. Getting to see another dream sequence here with Nico and the pancakes. Now let us see. Ruin? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite foods on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes. Oh. Then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? <laughs> but do you, do, do you like pancakes? Yes. Me too! <laughs> on my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes me the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. Oh, and, and one of our neighbors made a lot of bread. Uh, and do you have any neighbors? Yes. Oh? Do they share their food with you? No. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and washing the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yeah, let's get to it. I guess now we can ride the elevator down. Mm hmm Oh, hey, welcome back. That, uh, sure took a while, huh? Oh, shoot. You've been waiting this whole time? Holding the door open? Well, I, uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry, I should have told you to go on ahead. Yeah, don't worry about it. Sure is taking a while. Mm hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and a literally God themselves. This is awkward. Oh, maybe you can pat chat to pass the time then? You heard me? I mean, sure. <laughs> Alright. Ruin, should I? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. ask about his job. So, what do you do for your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights mostly, but now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy. You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they have to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city's stuff. Whoa! They used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when, they, when even the smart folks are worried. Alright, Ruin, should I? Let's ask about... <laughs> I could tell her to resume awkward silence. Ask about the city. The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. 
First, there was the refuge from the barons. And now there's the Glen folks who are moving in. Refugees from the barons. Oh? It's just safer here, you know. I mean, it's not a haven anymore. By any means. That square stuff that we just saw. We got more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, Ruin, should I talk about the library? Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading right lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Ruin. Yay! We arrived! Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh, uh... <laughs> Nico! Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. He seems to be in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Ruin. People are counting on us. Let's go find the library. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, ba. Na, da, da, da. Hello. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. It's a big fish tank. Big fish tank. It's a sink. Evening news, evening news. You are here to purchase a copy. No? Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Eh, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks! Whoa, we went straight to the library. When the world ends, would it better be... Would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. It's a trash bin. A trash bin. Ho. Oh. <laughs> you and me both. Ruin, did you see what happened? Yeah? My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something. Like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. Bag full of trash. Gross. It's a trash bin. A trash bin. What is all this? It's a flayed paper. It's a faded pa flyer. Faded. Faded, faded, faded. A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram. <sighs> Wait. I see you have the clay. Yes! <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Ram Club, you may come in. An electric kettle. It looks like it's boiling water. Oh, right, it's almost lunchtime. Would you like to stay for a nice cup of ramen? Ramen? I'll pass. Secret Ram Club. So, we meet again. Hello. Wait, aren't you from the village? Yes, but the rams are ever present. In the village, in the city, even in your heart. Okay. This ram doesn't react to me at all. Instead, the word Ba is written in its wool. Oh, that one isn't a ram. That one is read only. Oh, I hate it. No. I see. There you are. It's good to see you too. <laughs> If Rams wore shoes, they would have flip-flops. I don't get it. I used to host the official Ram Club wiki site. But we kept having page faults due to Rams getting out of their server room. What? 404 Ram not found. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that meant. I hope that's it for my jokes. Hmm, I guess that's it for my jokes. I cannot be helped. They were quite bad. <laughs> I got that one! <laughs> Alright. Well, Ram Club. Cool beans. It's strangely warm in this room. Cat friend! Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me. Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on all four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But it's just a person. You're still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks. I'm not lost though. I got ruined to guide me. I see. Wait, can we get more dialogue? It's warm here. Yeah. That's my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh. It's a nice purpose. Yeah. <sighs> oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? Can't sleep now. Ruin and I got stuff to do. I see. Where'd you find all your cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here now. Ah. Well, it's good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area stationed all by themselves. I felt kind of bad. With robots, it's all right. We are not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, you talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. You have been here for a while. Are you sure you do not wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for the offer, though. Meh. Meh. Ma. 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 Na. 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 Na, na. Some big plastic disc is in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something. Wait, Ruin, are we really gonna take these with us? But they look so heavy. Alright. Eh, they're actually pretty light. Thin lens, concave lens, convex lens, thick lens. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. Not bad. The blanket has quite a few patches. There's an empty coffee cup in the chair. Some empty glass jars. A framed photo of someone. A lantern pet uh, plant. 
There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Jar full of red glowing fluid. Praise the sun. Damn it, near do not approach. Ooh. Whoa. Ruin, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. <gasps> There's, I recognize these fox. This was in the dream. I'm sorry if you are looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Em. But can you promise me something? Eh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Eh? What do you mean by that? No reply. There's no one here. If you can find a way to return, please do. Hey, kid. Want some soup, some dumplings? Uh, want some soup dumplings? Uh, they're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproduct. I'll pass. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste so bad, though. You want one? It's okay, thank you. Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Yes. Okay, so, I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does... how does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Whoa! Thanks. Don't thank me. Go spread the word. Actually, I exaggerated. The effect of the pill wears off in like a week. But all you have to do is just take another pill. There's so much area in the city. The glen was so tiny compared to this. Unless I just missed a lot of it. Ooh, is this the base of the tower? It looks like I can unlock this door. Yay! Where the devil is this? Okay. Well, if I take this tube of water... ...and I combine it with the water pill... ...so I put the pill in the water. It dissolved really fast. Now I have medicated water. And they mentioned... ...that this... ...you can put on plants. And it makes them grow faster. Back up we go. Dum bum. <laughs> mm hmm. Bum 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 bum
Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 ba. We've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Now this will be enough. Good thinking, Ryan. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted the tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant. Hooray. All right, I guess we go back down now. Need to push the button to open the doors. Dag it. All right, down we go. Now let's try going this way. Oh. oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep. What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taking a while. I think it might be leaking. A street lamp. This one seems taller than the others. Okay. Ooh, another new area. Dum 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 da. Dum dum da. Dum dum da. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. Yeah? You must change the color of the lights in a specific configuration. Allow me. Um, how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Zero lights correct. Oh. Four lights correct. Oh, okay, so that one's green. Three lights, correct. Four lights, correct. Aha! That's the one. Five lights, correct. Access granted. Yeah! The security system has been temporarily deactivated. Would you like to reset it? I don't think I want to go through that again. Hello? My robot! What happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... Squares. Please do not approach. Terrible. Terrible things have happened here. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Monitoring, monitoring. These square particles just took out uh, my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. 
The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. There sure are a lot of computers here, and they look important too. I'm picking more uh, distur disruptions in Sector 8 on the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Alright, what do we find? Oh, mm, yeah, what do we find on this side? I cannot stop spinning. This one isn't active. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms, or legs, or head. Okay. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. <laughs> now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV. What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? None of us have been sleeping well in light of the recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. The Baron's engineer just reported another side. Ah! Alright, here we are then. Hello? Oh, shoot! If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Ruin helped me solve it. Did he now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah, where's the library? The library? That's all the way over the other side of town. The fastest route is where you take the shortcut through the back alley, but... I think that's how we got... I think that's how we got here, actually. Oh, good. You should head back to that direction and walk to the east a bit. You'll find it eventually. Thank you. Something's poking up from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. It's a bookshelf. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What the, would the world look like before, with the sun? Oh. Hmm. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I have actually seen. Oh! Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher. All I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. And I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing, and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. 
but for some reason he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... It's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah? Hmm. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliché, but true. Okay. Hey, Ruin. Doesn't that lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Oh. That's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? Even based on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build robots that act like a person. Thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. But it turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you that. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to st stabilize her volatile state through his own means. Ah, that's what being tamed is. You're given code with contradictions so that you can think for yourself. And being tamed is when you are tamed from the madness that that causes. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Hmm. Interesting, I would have been certain she would have said something about it. Okay. Praise the sun. The luminescent index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming to say the least that the sharpest decline I've seen and the number is only increasing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. Hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? Mm-hmm. A bunch of words are written on the screen. I don't understand any of it. It may help you to go one color at a time. Management. That's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. Beep boop. This is the printer room where the machine parts are made. Also robots. It can also help to write down previous attempts. Big metal box with machinery inside of it. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time.
The library. All right, in we go. What? Eh. I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you're in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. He just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him, Ruin. The author's book covers a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Well? They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books will be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ugh. Hello, do you need directions? Let's see, the area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and... I'm not sure where the children's section is, sorry. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to... look for the author then? No. Oh, that's good. I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. A computer, it's currently off. Mm hmm. Yep, still scared of ladders. <laughs> Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Reshelving in progress. Some art of a plaque. <laughs> books are neatly placed on the shelf. <laughs> no, no. Not by any stretch is that neatly. Hello. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own art books that I write. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Now come! Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Eh? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the book that came out before his. Oh, eh. Uh, I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. Oh, this is a little personal, ain't it? <laughs> Tap a tap, tap a tap a tap. Can you feel that fourth wall being poked? <laughs> I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person, cats are pets. And mousers. I sure hope people don't like think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. <laughs> a big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says a comp comprehensive guide to phosphorus. Hmm. Huh. 
Okay. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphorus of the highest energy. It's also the rarest of the common phosphors, as it can only be found in organic form. Known sources include sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in ubiquitous ground-covering moss in the glen, it is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use. However, due to its relative scarcity and past over harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least the locals of the glen still have enough to get by. Hmm. Red Phosphor. The lowest of the energy. Minerals only. It's in the water supply. It has to be concentrated out of it. And the Phosphor will precipitate out rather quickly. Gonna lose its glow permanently. If using super saturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. Hmm. I wanna get that book. Oh, there we go. Big book with a black clover on it. There's an emergency of neo-ecological niches in the post-sun world. Also known as seed shrimp uh, in the certain vernaculars due to the shape of the transparent coat. These aquatic invertebrates are oceans surrounding the barrens. Fireflies. Black turtle beetle with a vibrant glow. Sometimes captured in mass and put in jars to be used in living lamps by the Glen residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. Mm. Okay. The author publishes book at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the hand head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply don't add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in the movie once. Hehehe. <laughs> He can stop time, just not in the way you think. He's probably uh, referencing the creator of the game, and the author is just another human. What about superheroes and stuff? Hmm. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. The author takes some books, uh, uh, latest books are really something, yeah? Head Librarian just released a bunch last week. Ugh. They're big compendiums, you see them if you look around. Kinda different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Hmm. Okay, can't get to that one. Oh, I didn't talk to you yet. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, are you the Messiah? Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? 
The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. She is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all per phone calls. Hmm. For several days. Yikes! <laughs> Can we go to her in person, then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Oh. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Well, here we sit. <laughs> she is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. But Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Eh. Hmm. More lies. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Man. But I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Man. Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Hmm. What do I do? I am befuddled. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is the base of the tower. Okay. Hmm. It didn't do anything. An empty rectangular slot. It looks like something could fit in here. I guess that wasn't the right combination, Ruin. Um... I don't know what to do. Are you here for your photos? 
No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Okay. You looking for something? Yeah, I need to find a library card now. Any ideas where I can get one? From the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory. Just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. Hmm. Oh, hey, you're back. Can they help you with anything else? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the time, same time, she's the one who gives out the library cards. Really? That sounds like a George, all right. I'm sorry you got caught on her up her yeah, I sorry you caught her on a bad day. Ah. Uh, wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photos on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Vendor Street. There we go. Here to take a photo? Actually, yeah! I need to take a picture for... reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is that the photo center is right behind me. Bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Yeah, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Ruin and I can figure it out from there. That's good. It would certainly help out people who ex with expired IDs. Like me. Nets. Hmm. Alright, how do I figure these out? What do I do? There's a slot here. Me, me. Alright. We gotta find him again. Hey, isn't that... Oh, goodness gracious. Did the Messiah literally God themselves break into my house? Oh, that was your... You heard me? It keeps happening. Sorry about breaking into your house. You didn't actually break anything, but... Ruin said I should take these plastic discs for some reason. Should we put them back? It's okay, keep them. I wouldn't have been able to fix the machine anyway. Thanks for taking them off my hands, I guess. The lenses, that is. The scientists wanted to use them to fix the camera in the photo booth, but you can imagine how that went. I'm just glad I didn't break anything. Well, good luck. Mm.
Hmm. Well, nuts. Alright. Who can explain to me? Kip. Nets. Still asleep. Sorry about your bot. It's over here. Huh. We might have to brutal force so. Because I am not sure what the solution is there. All the engineers lost their job and became street vendors. Maybe Ruin and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. Ah. Uh. Used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera. Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. Concave lens went through thick and thin, so thick and thin, the concave is between them. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? It's been a while. I'm pretty sure there's a bulgy lens that goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Is there anything you can remember about how to work the camera? See, when arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay. Can you tell me how to wait, get the camera working again? Yes, yeah, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned on the left of both of the curved lenses. Okay. So... The thin one should be... The thick one should go on the left of both curved lenses. The concave one should be between the thick and thin. And the thin one should be the two curved. Yeah! Um, cheese? Ah, my eyes! <laughs> photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Can I get another? Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, my eyes. Another photo of me. Good thinking, Ruin. It's a good idea to have a backup. Not a cat. A backup. Hold on. Jeez. Eyes. Yeah, there's another photo of me. Three is enough, right? Not a cat. A backup. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think it's breaking down. Jeez. Ouch. My eyes. It's another photo of me. This is kind of fun. 
This is kind of fun. Uh. <laughs> and the camera's out of film now. The ultimate photo. Excellent. Brilliant. I fixed the camera. Oh, sweet. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's take Kip's library card and we'll combine it with the glue. Card is covered in glue and glitter. And we will combine it with the ultimate photo. The card now has my face on it. Or maybe I should have done the blinky one because it's different. Awesome. All right. Whew. The head librarian, George, is in the archival room upstairs. Unauthorized entry, library card required for further access. I know, I know. Up. Oh. oh. Hi. <sighs> Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good at to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. We are successful, cat. A small tree. Some of the trash spilled on the floor. Looks like an old phone. Hello? You must be the savior. I'm so happy I actually got to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, miss. So, are you here to check out the archives? Oh, so are you here? Uh, I can give you a tour. Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do next? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Yep. Do you know how I can get in? Nope. I don't know anything anyone's supposed to get inside the tower. I mean, there's a little room that you can go into. But there's no stairs or elevators or anything else. If you want my guess, you'll probably need Ruin's help. I don't know how exactly. In my experience, that kind of knowledge is usually recorded in some sort of cryptic book. But I haven't read anything like that before. Sorry. Ah! Boxes are full of loose papers and notebooks. Oh, the manuscripts the author sent me. And the head librarian is my job to help him with publication process. But lately, he hasn't been sending me anything. This isn't like him. I mean, I guess it does give me some extra time to work through his backlog. To be honest, I'm a little behind. <laughs> that guy works really fast. I see. The art weird part is, I've been publishing book after book after he stopped sending me things, right? But the pile of manuscripts never seems to get any smaller. At all. You think I'd be going bonkers? A book is poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed in high spirits, she told me. She saw another glimpse of the Messiah arrival. More vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Rachis was also present at the meeting. <laughs> I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on record the recording the prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writings have been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calmus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offer to teach him as I did his father. A book. Sketchbook. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Hmm, 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 hmm. The pigment is primarily black. The leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. 
In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. A book! Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used radically different architecture for the micropressor due to its limited resources this time. Uh, but it still should be able to deliver the late prophet's message. The team suggested the taming won't, uh, that taming was a lost cause. Hmm. Updating databases. Well, since you're already here, feel free to check out my archives, or better yet, if you have any questions about books, I can answer them. I love books, books, books. Even the painting is books. The fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. Sorry. It's a stack of blank papers. A stack of blank papers. A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. Well, we are late enough. I guess it would be fine to go ahead and finish this out. Hmm. Who can say? Well, I mean, I guess I could say. <laughs> hmm. I just usually try, at least more recently, to push myself all the way to when Nico says, I need to sleep. Are they all about clovers? Oh, no, no, no. A black clover symbol just means it's written by the author. Oh. Hmm. He doesn't want to tell anyone his name, so he marks all his works with his symbols instead. He wrote all these books? He sure did. What else can you tell me? Since you're already here, feel free to check out my archives. We literally have people lined up to read them. Well, what does he write about? What doesn't he write about? It's really impressive how fast he can crank these scripts out. Like, where does the guy get all that time? Mm-hmm. Copy everything published in, the published in the archival room. You can read some of it if you want. Some of them are even illustrated. Kids like pictures, right? Huh. Looks like a scanner. Looks like a printer. A computer screen. A small bed. I guess she lives here. Interesting. Hmm. Are there any special books down here? Hmm. 
no more books to read. Alright, you know what? I think we'll go to bed and we'll call it. I think that is what we will do. So let's do that. I don't think this is a good time for a nap ruin. Oh, never mind. Huh. Hmm. Oh, wait. I can't combine those. I forgot, I have a book. Maybe that's why I can't sleep yet. Teach me about- she said I can tell you about all books. Tell me about the books. Oh, I have this. I don't think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Oh my! It's a book! And not just any book! Oh, where did you get this? Somewhere in the Barrens. Oh, we found it in the safe. Right, Ruin? Is that so? In that case, I know what I have to do now. I need to borrow this journal for a bit, okay? Gotta translate it. Oh, cool. It might take a while, though. That's fine. <sighs> Excuse me. You look really tired. A little, yeah. No worries. I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you want, you can take a nap. A cat nap? <laughs> Alright, now we can sleep. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, like, what did we not do? And then it caught on. Like, oh yeah, we have a book that we have had for a long time, and it's been useless to us. Yeah, we encountered number four. She was happy. Alright. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? It most certainly is. But for those of us out here, we're gonna call it. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you've had a lovely time. Please leave me a like, a comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because I love to hear from you. Oh man, this is such a fun game. And it's paced very, very well. Everything is about one hour. And, uh, love it. Love it. Great, fun, silly times. Anywho, we're going to go to sleep, and then we'll wake up to the next dream tomorrow. I shall see you in the not-too-distant future. I know you're gonna miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye!